Hey gang. Well, here we are with Hero Specific. Best thing I could think to do on a Thursday afternoon is have a quick look at this. So, uh, wanted to play a fairly straightforward low unit count uh, scenario without any special rules and just to get a feel back in the swing of things with lock and load and also to uh, you know, just experience some of the counters in the maps and, and see how it all, all uh, hangs together. And what I'm going to do is play on the X maps, maps the, the larger scale maps, so you can get a feel for what it's all like. And we'll see how we do. The first thing I'm going to do is punch out some counters and we're grabbing uh, one, six, four, five, fives. So uh, that's these guys across here, and I need five of them. So uh, one, there's one, two, three, four, five of those guys. And you, what, one thing you've got to watch is on the backs of these, uh, it'll say five, right? Also, but some may have a six on them. And that is because uh, they, sometimes the units will have a different morale on the back when they're shaken than when they are when they are in uh, full, uh, full, fully capable, and sometimes their morale will actually go up. There are certain US units, certain US units that will happen for. So there's five of those guys, and we need a lucky man skill card. So we should grab that dude from here. I think they're on this chart. No, they're not. We're going to need this turn initiative thing. Where's the skill cards, lucky man? And I like the way they've actually uh, just done the counters for the unique attributes for the various units and then just put a chart together to show you what they are rather than having cards with the small print and all that sort of stuff. Right, who else we got here? We need a BAR. Got one of those. Excuse me, a 1914A. That's going to be a small. Oh, we need a flamethrower. A thing that goes whoosh. It must be on the back here somewhere. Nope. Where's the flamethrower? Who can see a flamethrower for me? Bazooka. Where'd it go? I saw him just here before. Uh, here we go. It's on the back of the, it's on the back of the bar. So here you go. All right, such a charge. We need snake. Where's the leader snake? Yeah, great. Drop in. <sighs> And Milgore, Miglior, and he needs the A4 as well, that's a tripod gun, and a satchel charge, which I think is on the back here, yeah, it's this guy here, one of these, one of these satchel charge. And that's all the Yanks, pop this here. And Japanese, no, just need the Japs. The Japs are going to have uh, four, one, six, four, five, five. So that's going to be these guys. Nope, that's going to be. No, sorry. Uh, two, one, three, four, sixes. Come back. So these guys are 
they have a nice texture to them, but uh, they're a little bit slick from being new out of the box. They don't have all my oily greasiness over there, over them yet. Kusanagi, that's not a bad leader. Ooh, that leaves at eight. Look at that guy. Um, a 50 millimeter mortar, which is basically one of those little knee mortars. And a Type 92, which is a tripod gun. And then one five four five twenty three two more of those one two more of those and such a hero which is this dude right here and he gets this warrior spurt card which is this one okay let's see who sets up where. Okay, elements of the 1st Battalion, the 158th Regiment of Combat Team. Set up second on... Uh, second, ha ha ha, okay. So the Japanese set up first. The 223rd and 224th Infantry Regiments elements. One hex of 3218. 3218, okay. Let's go move this out of the way, because I'm going to get the right chaps. Two, one, three, fours. Where those little worthless guys go? Three, four, sixes. They are thirty-two, eighteen. Thirty-two, eighteen. Thirty-two, high eight. Which is going to be eight, which is going to be here, and it's going to be uh, within one hex. Well, that's not very helpful. So one here, one here for the moment. And then Kusanagi has all these guys. He has three units and the mortar and the Type 92. I'm going to go in 29D3, which is all the way back in the village over here. to have a uh, good field of fire for the Type 30, Type 92. The mortar has a range limitation. So I think we'll do this. Since he has a command range, I might put both these guys here. Like so. And then our warrior spirit chappy enters uh, on turn three via 32C8, which is going to be right over here. So we'll put those guys there. Let's put them on the track, on the turn track. So they're over there on the turn track. Now we do the Yanks. And the Yanks set up second, and they're within one hex of 32H4. That's Snake. Where is Snake? One hex. Of 32H4. Right over here. And did I give him the lucky man school card? I did not. So let's do that. Oh. I'm trying to be gentle with the Sheets here it is here because I don't want to knock unit too many units out yet. Okay, I need a bar and a flamethrower. Do I have that there? I don't. Here's a bar. There's a flamethrower. Where's the bar? Alright. There within one hex of that spot. So we don't have to allocate, I don't believe you have to allocate the flame, flame thrower just yet. So let's put these guys on the board. Here. Oops. And we'll open our do with the bar. VAR on one side. Yeah. Better 
check out virtual conditions too. Eh? Right, so that would uh, be all them set up. Got our Japanese set up the other end. It's going to be a little bit of a race uh, to get down here in the nine turn uh, time frame. So there are no uh, terrain modifications to the maps. And I think we're good to go. So I will uh, switch over to just uh, taking some pictures now, and or maybe we'll do some more video on it. We'll see how we go. See how much fun it is. Talk to you soon.